Moving Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to go over how to subtract in scientific notation. Let's go over the guidelines and then I'll work two examples. First, in order to subtract properly, the exponents must be the same. And if the exponents are not the same, you can follow these steps. Determine the number by which they increase the smaller exponent. So what you do is you increase the smaller exponent to equal the larger exponent. In order to increase the smaller exponent by this number, move the decimal point of the number with the smaller exponent to the left. Then you add and subtract the coefficients. And then if it's not in scientific notation, then you need to convert it. So let's go ahead and work an example, okay? We have 3.2 times 10 to the 6 minus 2.7 10 to the 5th. So the exponents are not equal because we have 6 and 5. And 3.2 and 2.7 are the coefficients. So the first thing we can do is go ahead and subtract 6 minus 5, the two exponents, and that gives you 1. So we know that we need to move, raise the power of the smaller exponent 1. So this, the 5 needs to become a 6. So now I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this. So I'm going to have 3.2 and I'm going to add a 0 times 10 to the 6 minus, and I need to move the decimal of the 2.7 to the left. So I will, the 2.7 will become 0.27, okay? Because there is an inverse relationship in order for the exponent to go up, the number or the coefficient must get smaller. And moving the decimal to the left uh, makes 2.7 a smaller number. And so now I just subtract. 0 minus 7 is 3. I'm going to borrow 1 from the other side. 2 will go into 11 9 times. And I've borrowed 1, so that is 2.93 times 10 to the 6. Okay, and I'll circle my answer. Okay, let's work one other example. Now this one can seem a little tricky because you have 8 times 10 to the negative third. Excuse me, this should be minus 9 times 10 to the negative second. At first glance, you would think that the negative 2 is smaller than negative 3. But if you remember from a number line, everything to the left is smaller than all the numbers to the right. So negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. So actually negative 3 is smaller than negative 2. So I'm going to rewrite this. So I will take negative 3 minus negative 2. So is negative 1. So I need to move the decimal one place. So now I will rewrite this. It's 10 to the negative second. Okay. And then I'm going to move the decimal 1 to the left for this 8. So that becomes 0.8. Okay. And then what I do now is just subtract. And so that's 0. 0, I need to borrow 1 from the 9. So this becomes a 10. So this would be 2.8 times 10 to the negative second. So there is our second answer, 8.20 times 10 to the negative second. I hope that helps with subtracting exponents. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day.